Wait a minute. Wow. The only thing I can't say about this person, because today is the actual day that her book comes out. Right. So I can't say, oh, maybe I can. Yeah. Instant bestseller, <laughs> Jesse Klein. Sure. We learned that's what it's called. Instant bestseller. When it goes that's straight right. to the top of the chat, it's called instant, instant bestseller. bestseller. Wow. Yeah. So what would I'm really predict- be more impressive, Rana. Yeah. If she had a song accompanying the new book that also went straight to number one. I don't think that's ever happened ever. No, a Christmas number one, like in to Love Actually. Author. Yeah. Right, exactly. They're probably never. Do you think she could get a single? Jesse, dear, could you get a single together between now and next Tuesday? <laughs> that's such a hard no. That's the hardest of no's. And I really love sing- the confidence. Oh, man. I have a passion for song. Yeah. Uh huh. But, but not I a singer. You, I don't think you want to hear me sing. Fair enough. I want to hear it, but I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it. That's actually, I think, the most accurate <laughs> way of describing it. But I will say this, Rana. <laughs> Jesse's rhythms in the writing uh-huh. are musical. Oh, man. Have you ever read a word she's written? Of course. I read her last book. How dare you? That is such a high compliment. Your Um, last book was so terrific. I am so excited for this book. And I've already read an excerpt in the New Yorker, pardon me. No big deal. Fabulous. Oh, man. It's nothing. It's nothing. You know, I honestly, I told my this is what a sentence I told my book agent. I already want to strangle myself, but I was like, you've got to get it into the New Yorker. Cause I need my parents to be proud of me. But, oh, that's the, that is that's, the thing that does it. Yeah. I guess. I mean, they, it's, it's like, it's nice. I wrote a book like that's fine. But like the expert in the New Yorker is the real money in the bank for that. I, thought it was, I mean, come on. If that doesn't, if the excerpt alone doesn't make it an instant bestseller, I don't know what will, because the people <laughs> yeah. that read the New Yorker people that buy books, it's true. It feels like there's a Venn diagram of New Yorker subscriber readers and Definitely. people would be willing to throw some money at a Certainly book. people in the carriage house. We're, we're going to put a link up. It's called uh, I'll Show Myself Out. Essays uh, on Midlife and Motherhood. Pardon me. Out it's now. New book. I feel like I'm on a day a daytime talk show right now, the way I'm saying it. <laughs> oh, it's good though, Ronna. I think anytime it, you're hawking a book, it feels daytime. And by the uh, way, Rhonda, our fantasy is to have a daytime talk show. Well, that's really everyone else's fantasy at this moment. Right. You know, we're willing to do it. Right. But it's really the world's fantasy. I mean, that we should it? have a daytime talk. Though what I really don't, they've got to come up with a, some different chair between the chair that Kelly Ripper and Ryan use oh, and the, the chair behind the desk. Uh, I, have, I know. What is more horrifying than being asked to come on looking fabulous, yes. parade yourself out, yep. and sit on a high stool? And have to oh. just use your entire core to what stay seated? What do you do with your legs? If what if, I I mean, my legs a, just hang off. Yeah. Yeah. Or do a TED a talk or something. It's like you're a child. It's like that. Yeah. If Horrible. I walk into a restaurant and it's high stools, I'll walk out. Oh, yeah. There better, yeah. There better be somewhere to put your feet. Somewhere sure. to put your feet. A director's chair? How about putting on a $4,000 dress and being asked to sit in a director's chair? <laughs> <laughs> Try getting out of that with a plum. Yeah, that, would, that wouldn't that yeah. would be fun. It's a nightmare. It's an orthopedic Je- nightmare. Jesse, dear, are you excited about the book? Um, I am really excited about the book. I mean, it takes forever to write these things. So and then long. It's very surreal when it comes out. It means you're done. How so, long after the first book did you start writing the second? Was there a big break in there? Or is that really just how long the process is? Um, yes, on both, both counts. Yeah. <laughs> those both yes or no questions. Um, the last book came out, I want to say, in 2016. And then I think I started working on this one like around 2018, 2019. Wow, yeah. Okay, Because awesome. um, it was kind of birthed the... Uh, puns terrible but um i started to think about writing it when my son was around like two or three years old just because uh the experiences i was having were felt so surreal and yeah being becoming a parent i mean rana i I don't know you know how much you remember well yeah i mean i'm a grandmother now so it's different i get to just enjoy it you just enjoy it jesse you have to understand her son jordan there was never a problem Ever. Of course. He was perfect. Normal child problems. Right. You know? Yeah. He, he yeah. took, no, you can't have candy before dinner. Right. You he know, mispronounced that sort of, a French not lesson to, You know, that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. yeah sure. You know? Yeah. No. Yeah. Ron is a great mom. Yeah. You know what? Jordan's I a perfect am. angel. I'll be He's honest perfect. with you. I was a terrific mama. 